Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I just got the first drink of fall. It doesn't feel like fall. It probably won't feel like fall for a very long time. I live in Florida, so we don't really have the change of seasons per se, and it's like 100 degrees outside, and we don't really get cold weather until January. We'll get little bits and pieces here and there, maybe like a 60 degree, but that isn't for months. It's never, ever, ever cold in September or October, and it's August, and it still feels like summer to me, but since the fall drinks came out a couple days ago, I thought it was only right to get a fall drink. I got the pumpkin cream chai actually and not the cold brew and I added a shot of espresso. I usually don't get like Starbucks or anything like that. It's really rare that I do, but when the fall and kind of winter drinks come out, that's when I love to go. It's always fun to get a fall drink. So we're gonna try it. This is very good, very sweet. I usually get like a couple of the regular versions of the fall and winter drinks and then I'll kind of modify it, kind of do half the amount of pumps of pumpkin, kind of just modify it to make it a little bit healthier. I don't love, love, love sugary coffee. So it's always just a lot when I do get it. So that's why I do like to modify it because I actually think it tastes better when it's less of the sweetness but this is very good i love like dirty chais they're so delicious and especially around the fall and winter time i think they're so yummy because of the flavors but highly recommend the pumpkin cream chai add an espresso shot if you like espresso or if you want to make it like a dirty chai i'm sure it's fantastic on its own but i will probably be getting half the amount of pumps in this moving forward but i think i'm still gonna keep adding the shot of espresso i think it makes it so yummy wanted to start off the vlog i ran an errand for my dad so i wanted to start off the vlog a little bit earlier but um i was doing something for him he's a little bit under the weather today and so um wanted to help him out of course i'm so excited that it's kind of fall time i'm gonna wait till probably mid-september to do like a trader joe's fall haul get some pumpkins and stuff but who knows once it hits like once the first football sunday hits that's when i kind of like want to go full fall mode because it kind of feels so much like fall at that point so we'll see but I'm so excited for the change of season. I love summer. I do live in Florida, so it kind of feels like summer all the time, but it's always fun with the change of season and like all the fun stuff that you get to kind of do again because you haven't done it in a year. So it's so fun. But let me know if there's any fall drink recipes that you guys love that I should try. I follow this girl on Instagram who did like healthier versions of a lot of the pumpkin drinks so maybe we'll try another one of those tomorrow and i'll share if i like it or not but yeah let me know your favorite fall drink from starbucks or duncan or anywhere that you live near any coffee shop doesn't have to be chain i would still love to hear it because then maybe certain places can recreate something like that near me but yeah welcome back to another video just wanted to start with the vlog i just opened up a daily drills package and i put this on because it goes with what I'm wearing, or what I got, I guess you could say. I've been waiting two months for this because I pre-ordered it because this drop sold out basically instantly. So I had to order this stuff in pre-order and it took 60 days. But I guess, let me just show what I first got. So first, I only let myself get two things because it's easy to get carried away. First thing I got is the red sweater. These are the softest sweaters ever. I got this in white last year. I have it. I also never really share like clothing hauls, but um, this one is fun and exciting. I love daily drills. I got this one white sweater last year when they first dropped sweat sweaters like this and I wear the crap out of it to work all the time. It's my favorite and I work in an office every day. I'm sure you guys know but I always wear sweaters to work regardless of the season. I'm always cold in the office, so I get a lot of wear, wears out of sweaters. I actually hardly change my wardrobe throughout the whole entire year when it comes to workwear. It's always sweaters and pants, so 
and you all get a ton of wear out of this and the red is so fun for the holidays and it's just a great sweater super super soft highly recommend if they ever release something like this again the two things that i recommend technically three things but they don't sell the poplin shorts that i love really the main thing that i recommend is definitely a crew neck they're the most comfortable crew necks ever i have a few they're so good honestly a lot of stuff is good but if you had to pick a couple things my recommendations are a crew neck any color that you like they always are releasing stuff like this they're so comfortable their sweaters so so soft so comfortable you have to be careful when you're washing them don't dry them you just have to take really good care of their sweaters and then um their poplin shorts that are their old version so they don't sell them anymore but those are really good and i recently purchased their let me take you down i recently purchased their super shorts in the lemonade so they're the shorter shorts that they sell but i am shorter so i actually prefer this length to be honest over any others i don't own any of their other shorts because i always was worried that they'd be too long on me and i wouldn't want to wear them this is such a great length and size i'm obsessed with these and i wanted it has a matching set with my lemonade crew so i got the super shorts too i'm so excited to actually have a set and those are the two things that i got follow me on tiktok you probably already saw the haul my camera battery light is flashing at me but i posted the haul to my tiktok too i am just so excited about the stuff that i got so i wanted to share it over here too i never shared what i was wearing today I might change though for dinner depending on where we're going. We're trying to figure that out. But wearing this set from Free People, I have it in two colors. I wore the other one. It's a gray color a couple weeks ago that I shared in a vlog. But I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this because it's a great knit material. So it's a good full transition piece and it's good for Florida weather honestly because we do occasionally get like 60 degree, 70 degree mornings, but it lasts for a day and then it's back to 90 degrees. So this is a great set. I'll definitely get so much wear out of it. It's just perfect for Florida, but it's a knit short. I have it rolled because it is a little bit bigger. I sized up to a, a small in this. I don't think I would have preferred getting my normal size because I was afraid that the shorts would be too tight, but they do loosen up throughout the day, which is why I have to have them rolled. So cute. I love it. It's favorite set. And this necklace is from Lily Clasp. That's the fit. So we'll see if I, I might change for dinner depending on where we go, but just wanted to share what I was wearing for the day. It's so comfortable too. Just very cute and comfy. I had a plan to go to like three or four places because <laughs> I needed to run some errands, but all I could do to kind of beat the rain was go to Target. And I placed a Target pickup order yesterday and then I realized that I needed milk and they don't carry the milk that I drink. So I was gonna go to Publix to get that and then they have some out of stock items from my Target pickup order that I was gonna get at Publix. And then I also had an Ulta pickup order and I needed to pick up my prescription from CVS, but this is what I'm dealing with. So I did not get to do any of that, only Target. I just put all those groceries away. I also got a sewing kit because a button fell off one of my sweaters and I'm gonna sew that back on and then a button on Christian's pants. I also got this package today from Function of Beauty and I've used their shampoo in the past, the blue one. And I'm so excited to try this styling mousse. I wear my hair natural throughout the week. So it's always nice to have products that kind of help with what my natural hair kind of looks like throughout the work week. 
So I'm excited to try this. I'm definitely trying it this week. And then there's this anti-frizz booster shot. Maybe I need to look into getting a base so I can utilize these. But this is apparently viral on TikTok. I'm so excited to try this out. So I'll let you know how it is. I'm gonna get to sewing. This button came off. This sweater that I wear to work all the time. We're going to my dad's for dinner. I think I mentioned yesterday my dad hasn't been feeling well. I don't want to get into too much detail yet or maybe ever, but he had kind of a procedure done this week to see just some things. Um, he is older, he's 82 in October. So he just hasn't been feeling well since that. Kind of like low energy. He's been like having headaches and stuff, but um, yeah, maybe I will touch on that later, but it's just been a little bit hard but um we are heading there so my family is meeting us there for dinner and then we're gonna go catch a movie at seven like around seven and i keep forgetting the name of the movie i think it's blink twice is the name of the movie and we're meeting some friends and going to see that splotchy in the viewfinder i did just do the dr dennis gross peel pads i usually do these on sunday nights i love them i feel like it's like a nice reset before the week and then i just follow up with a heavier moisturizer and an oil and that's usually what i do for sunday skincare i usually only do those once a week but i did want to say that the movie blink twice was so good it was like a little bit slower in the beginning but then once it picked up it was just it was incredible if you like movies like that it was just such a good movie highly recommend if you're interested in going to see it a lot of parts i was like covering my face because i get scared a little bit but highly recommend highly highly recommend so good and it's a great movie that starts like a lot of conversations in the end you're like wait what do you think about this what do you think this meant we talked after the movie just about what our opinions were what we thought this meant it was really great and the director basically wanted it to be kind of basically you could think it could go many different ways very good but i'm just finishing up my skincare about to go into another work week the only thing getting me through this work week truthfully is that i have a three-day weekend ahead it's Labor Day weekend. Christian goes on his bachelor trip this week and I'm so excited for him. He's gonna have the best time. And then the only thing just getting me through this weekend is that it's a three day weekend and then next week is only a four day work week. So that's always nice. And it's basically September, which September is more like fall for me. Once I have pumpkins on my counter and like chili and it's football on on Sundays, 
then it really starts to feel like fall, but not until mid-September. I mean, fall is not until basically the end of September, so makes sense why it doesn't feel like fall anyway. Anyways, it is 10.36, so I need to head to bed. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.